Hey, what's up everybody? It's Joe here with Deranged. So anybody that's ridden in a UTV knows that if you're trying to carry on a conversation with other passengers, it can be very difficult to hear over the engine and other noise. Because of this, lots of people, including us, have chosen to put comms systems or internal car intercom systems in their UTVs so they can have a conversation while they're out uh, having fun. Some people, including us, also choose to use car-to-car -car systems, which through a radio gives you the ability to speak to or carry on conversations with cars or vehicles that uh, are in the same group as you and on the same radio frequency. After installing these systems in our UTV, we came to realize that this really does change the experience. It gives you the opportunity to connect more and better, not just with the passengers that are with you, but those that are on the same channel or on the same frequency. So recently, Cardo approached us about their communication systems. Cardo's been around for a long time in the on-road motorcycle industry. They make helmet kits that connect to different helmets and allow you to have communication systems built into your helmets or attached to your helmets and be able to speak to the riders that are with you. Our first experience with those systems was last year when we took a trip to Moab uh, and brought our dirt bikes along. Each of us jumped online and ordered our own Cardo Pack Talk bolds to install in our helmets. We set the systems up in our dirt bike helmets and it really did change the experience. It allowed us to talk, communicate, uh, BS, make fun, uh, and have a good time while we're riding our dirt bikes through the uh, rocks and hills and trails of the Moab, Utah area. Later, we took a trip with more of us, added a couple more, and went to uh, the Prescott, or as Arizona's call it, Prescott Valley, and rode some really great single track with five of us in the group. Uh, each of us having this comm systems in our helmets, and each of us having a lot of fun uh, enjoying the experience together through these communication systems. The connection process is relatively simple and there is an app related to it that makes the process pretty darn easy, especially when you compare it to the other systems that are out there. Another great option that they have, specifically for the PackTalk Bold for now, is a headset. The headset allows you to connect the PackTalk Bold and basically have freedom in your communication when you are in a side-by-side -side UTV or anywhere else where you need communication but need to be detached. This right here is a great example helping get Garrett guided through this really tight tree section here. Uh, I had to jump out and kind of guide him through the trees to make sure he didn't scrub up the side of this uh, Kawasaki uh, press unit that we have here. So there's a ton of other examples where this is helpful and convenient. Uh, another one would be rock climbing or rock crawling. Uh, it's great to jump out and guide and not have to disconnect, put your headset on, deal with the wires and everything else. You can jump up, keep it on, keep chatting, and you're good to go. One thing to consider or keep in mind here, the headsets obviously would only be able to be used in states or areas, jurisdictions, where helmets are not required. So in the state of Arizona, if you're over 18, you do not need to wear a helmet uh, in a side-by-side. -side, so you can put on headsets and use them just about anywhere you'd like. In some states, they're considered motorcycles and some they're considered car. Uh, we always recommend wearing a helmet, although as you can see, sometimes we choose not to. Uh, usually when we're just putting around on trails and being pretty tame in our driving situations. Uh, so having a headset like this allows you that opportunity to have the freedom, not wear a helmet, but still have communications and be able to jump out of your car anytime you want without having to deal with the cords or anything else. Recently, Cardo came out with a new PackTalk Edge and the PackTalk Edge is basically the next generation of the PackTalk Bold with a couple cool new features that I'll run through right now. So. First, the Pack Talk Edge is waterproof, which is awesome. So obviously, if you're cruising through the mud, through the rain, everything else, through the dirt, through the dust, through the snow, uh, you're going to need something that's waterproof and able to resist the elements. Uh, next cool feature of it is it has an air mount. So the previous generation, the Pack Talk Bold, basically had a clip on the side of your helmet that you clipped in or clipped out. 
uh, the new Pack Talk Edge, they have what is called an air mount, which it's just real strong magnets. You put the sucker close to it and it snaps right on and stays there. Uh, it's relatively simple to unclip, but it's not going to fall off. Uh, really a great new way to get it mounted to your helmet. One thing they did with the Pack Talk Edge as well is they improved the voice control. So this gives you the ability to control via voice, which is awesome. I used it multiple times on this trip and fairly regularly as well. I would say, hey Cardo, next song, and it would execute the command for me. The next cool thing about the Pack Talk Edge is it does use the same technology as the previous one, which is dynamic mesh communication or mesh uh, signal. Uh, and also has Bluetooth as well. But with the new PackTalk Edge, they basically just improved every part of the communication. So grouping is easier, getting the units held together, uh, auto healing, which basically allows for when one unit drops off and then they come back within range, it automatically reconnects. That's much better. Private chat is better, which gives you the ability to speak just to certain people that are in the group with you and then the sound quality is better as well. So the kits come with JBL speakers or JBL audio. We installed them on multiple helmets, including my dirt bike helmet from Fox and my solid helmet from Solid Helmets. Installation is easy. You're basically just sticking the speakers in the ear cups and then running the wires behind your pad to where you have the Cardo Pack Talk mounted. As of the shooting of this video, the headsets are not available for the PackTalk Edge, but it is coming. One thing to keep in mind is if you have PackTalk Bold already, you can connect to the PackTalk Edge and you'll be able to join the same mesh network and have communication set up. However, the mounts are not compatible with each other. In other words, you can't take a PackTalk Edge and hook it up to a PackTalk Bold mount or accessory like a headset. So now for the wrap up, what are my thoughts? What are our thoughts on the Cardo system and getting set up on a communication system attached to a helmet rather than attached to a side-by-side? -side? To be honest, we were really impressed with the system overall. We have been since the original Bold and the Edge just takes it to the next level and makes it better. The reason we love this system is it allows us to take it anywhere we go. If we sell a machine, we don't have to rebuy comms for our next system or our next uh, side by side. Uh, if we test a machine, if we're on a demo ride, if we're with a manufacturer, we don't have to install a system or go without communications. We can bring them with us with our helmet, which for us is a huge benefit. It's also great that you're able to listen to music independently and at your own level and the specific music that you want. One of the struggles with the comm system or the internal car comm system, in my family anyway, is the kids didn't necessarily like the music that dad liked listening to, and dad didn't necessarily like the music the kids liked listening to. With this setup, you're able to choose your own music and listen to whatever music you want. And to me, that's a great benefit as well. So would I recommend getting yourself set up on this system? Absolutely. It's a great way to go, and more than likely, it's going to be the direction that we go for comms in the future. Especially as we begin exploring the outdoors more with vehicles that may be outside of the side-by-side -side arena. These systems allow you to stay connected and enjoy the experience together, regardless of what vehicle you're in. So tell us what you think in the comments down below. Do you think this is a viable communication system option for your side-by-side -side or UTV? Do you see the benefits like we do of having a system that you're able to take from vehicle to vehicle without installation? Let us know in the comments down below. We'd love to hear what you think. That's it for this one, guys. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below and ride safe. Pack out what you pack in, and we'll see you on the next one.